In this video, I'm going to show you how to download, install, and run Parallels Desktop 18 for Mac. Hi, I'm John Grubb from 4kcc.com. If this is your first time here, welcome. If you're returning, thanks for coming back. If you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, please do so. And when you watch this video, if you like it, give it a like. And if you have a comment or question, just use the comment area. Parallels Desktop 18 for Mac is a great program. If you're a Mac owner and you want to run Windows programs, there's like 200,000 Windows programs you could run. This is the software you want. It's easy to install. You don't have to reboot when you want to use it. You don't have to switch users. You just start Parallels and you can use your Windows. In this case, I've installed Windows 11. And I'm going to show you all of that right now. So let's get started. On my Mac, I'm going to begin by opening Google Chrome. In the address bar at the top, I'll go to www.4kcc.com. Since this is my first time on this page, I'll accept the cookie pop-up at the top. Next, let's click on Products We Recommend. Scrolling down the page, we find Run Windows on Mac and click on the banner. Here we can buy now or download a free trial. For this demo, we'll use the trial. We are redirected to the trial center and now we'll save the installation file. When the download completes, click to run the file. Choose Install Parallels Desktop, then Open. We have to give the file permission to access the Downloads folder, so we click OK. The EULA appears. We can read it if we like, but it's pretty boring. We can checkmark Participate in Customer Experience Program, or we can skip that. I always check the box because I like sending my anonymous feedback to the software creator. Once past the EULA, Parallels Desktop will download and verify the download. I've sped up the process for this video. Just know that how long this entire process takes depends on your internet speed, how much memory you have in your Mac, and other factors as well. Before the installation can begin, I need to sign in with my administrator username and password. I do that and then click OK and the installation starts. Once again, I've sped up the process for the sake of this video. No matter how long it takes to install on your Mac, Eventually, you'll see the Parallels desktop is starting. Following the installation, the permission wizard will appear. Click Next. As each permission window pops up, be sure to click the OK button, then hit Finish. Moving on, we need to install Microsoft Windows. We have a choice of the version by using the drop-down menu. For this video, I'm choosing Windows 11 Home and hitting Done. Windows 11 will now download and then validate the download. Of course, I've sped this process up.
Once Win11 has finished downloading and validating, it begins the installation. As it does, Parallels asks for permission to access the camera and the microphone. We grant those requests by clicking OK. In the meantime, the Windows installation continues. When it completes, I can wait for it to count down or I can click Restart Now. Windows will finish installing and may reboot one or more times during this process. Finally, the Windows 11 desktop appears. Accept the Windows License Agreement, then click to continue. At this point, we want to create a Parallels account or log into our account if we already have one. On the next window, click Continue. On the Privacy Notice, drill down on any subject if you like. When finished, accept the privacy notice. You will now be signed in to Parallels. If you receive the Windows License Agreement again, choose Accept. Believe it or not, the first thing we want to do is install Windows Updates. To do that, click the Settings icon on the taskbar. If it's not there, go to the Start menu, then Settings. At the bottom of the left column, choose Windows Updates. Download and install all missing Windows updates. Windows 11 may reboot one or more times during this procedure. Once back to the Windows 11 desktop, close any Mac browsers that are open. You should see the Activate Parallels Desktop window. If you haven't already purchased Parallels, now is the time. Once you do, you'll be given an activation key. Type that key in the activation field, then click Activate. Hit OK to close the confirmation window. If Windows is paused, hit the play icon, then go to the file menu and quit Windows 11. When the Install Parallels Toolbox wizard appears, choose Install Now. Accept the EULA and after the installation is complete, click Done. When automatic activation is completed, click Next. After the brief demo finishes and you're taken to the dashboard, set the notifications, then close the toolbox setup. Let's go to the Parallels icon on the desktop and open it. After Windows 11 resumes, we are asked to set some accessibility features. We'll open System Preferences. 
will unlock security and privacy by clicking on the locked padlock and entering our username and password. Once in, put a check mark in the box directly in front of Parallels Desktop. Close Security and Privacy. Close Windows 11 and Parallels. At this point, I deleted the Parallels installation file from the desktop. The final step is to activate your copy of Windows 11 so you can use all of its features. I go to the Parallels icon and open Windows 11. From the Start menu, I open Settings. The system window appears and I can click Activate Now. On the activation window, I click Change Product Key. If you haven't purchased the Windows 11 key, this would be the time to do that. Once you have the key, you simply type it in the Product Key field and click Next. Windows 11 will activate and you're good to go. Now that you've seen how to download, install, and use, Parallels Desktop 18 for Mac. I hope you'll go and click the link in the description and get this great piece of software on your Mac machine. Yes, if you buy it through our link, we'll get a little bit of a kickback. But let me tell you, I would recommend this if we get nothing. This is a great program. So give it a try.